This is Miranda, and I'm here to talk about voting from abroad. We've had a lot of friends here in Denmark ask us, how do we vote? Obviously, this is a very important election for a lot of people, including us. And so our friends here in Denmark have been very curious, how do you do that? And the first step that we had to do was actually register to vote in our state. So we registered in Illinois, which is where we used to live. And then once we were registered, we have to wait for them to actually send us a ballot. In some states, they actually send you a paper ballot, so you have to wait for that to come through the, the mail. But in our case, we were able to at least get the ballot emailed to us. Um, but then we can't send it back by email. We actually have to fill out the ballot ourselves on our computers, and then we print it out, we sign it. When you send your ballot, you're actually required to return it in the envelope, the envelope that they give you which looks like this and you get to do voter origami uh, by folding up this tiny piece of paper into a janky envelope so let's do that coming back from Denmark is extremely slow. So we have a couple options. We can try to send it through PostNord and pray that it gets back to the US, but we don't think that will happen, so we're not doing that. You can also take your ballot to the embassy in person and drop it off, and it goes out with the diplomatic mail the very next day, so it gets there quite quickly. But then again, it has to go through the mailing process in the US, so that was not the best option either. But in some states, they actually allow you to designate somebody to drop your vote off for you. And Illinois is one of those states. So we are going to send our votes to one of our friends and she is going to very kindly drop it off at the village hall for us on our behalf. You actually register to vote at your last legal residence in the US, which means that as long as we're abroad, we will forever be registered to vote at our house in Illinois, which we actually sold in 2018, which makes no sense to me, but that's how you vote. It's kind of a long process. We did our voter registration, I think about two months ago, and then we waited about six weeks and they finally sent us our ballot. And now we have them printed out and we're getting ready to send them. So it's quite the process voting from abroad. Everybody get out and vote because you've got it easy.